Hey guys, it's uh, LNS here once again bringing you uh, yet another Total War Warhammer video this time I'm going to be playing oh, a little bit laggy, sorry for that uh, this time I'm going to be playing as um, the Chaos um, I'm going to slow this down a bit because the battle is pretty fast so um, basically uh, I've already seen people playing Chaos maybe because um, due to a number of reasons uh, the first being that units are very expensive it's a very cool dragon with two hits over here. Uh, the units are very expensive and they don't really have much uh, in terms of missile troops as well. So these two combined uh, makes them a faction that is rarely played, uh, at least from what I've seen in the matchmaking uh, mode. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my build. I have uh, four units of Chaos Marauders. These guys are the really cheap. Um, they have great weapons. Uh, they only cost 525 uh, gold. A very cheap um, frontline unit to absorb the uh, charge of the enemy. And then I have these uh, Forsaken. These guys are really good. Uh, very high weapon strength as well, melee, as well as melee attack. Uh, pretty high armor as well as dealership. Although, although they don't have uh, armor piercing. That's one of the problems uh, if you get the cheaper units for the Chosen. I mean for the Chaos. Uh, I have two units of these chaos spawns, uh, 1000 gold each. These guys are really good at uh, killing infantry and dealing a lot of damage. Once again, they don't have, they have pretty high, um, pretty high armor piercing values as well. Um, I have one unit of chaos sorcerer with the metal law. I'll tell you why I chose him just a bit. Pretty badass over here. Look at him. And uh, after that, I have two units of uh, these chaos warhounds. Really fast, uh, like the dog units to uh, make up for the lack of missiles I use them to try and take out the enemy missile units that's what their purpose is um, I do however have uh, these two units of uh, Marauder Horsemen very high armor piercing uh, they have armor piercing missiles over here pretty badass looking uh, for my general I have the uh, one of the wizard with the death law magic uh, really strong, one of the strongest magics uh, that you can go um, other than the, only, I think only the vampire get them as well as the chaos so I'm facing uh, green skins uh, have, he has uh, 4 units of these uh, Onk boys pretty cheap units, however he has uh, 2 units of trolls and these guys, very scary looking giants over here, look at him and he has two units of that, so that is going to be a problem for me because I don't have any, uh, I have very little anti-large units. Actually, I don't even have any anti-large units, so that is going to be a problem for me. However, as I've said before, I'm going to use the uh, Marauders to try and soak up the initial charge damage. He also has two units of uh, Savage Orc Ball Boys over here, as you can see. If you guys some close up, he's trying to chase my uh, Marauder uh, Horseman, throwing axes as well as uh, yeah, 3 units of these uh, goblin archers not much of a threat to me because I'm quite an armored and uh, yes, this guy over here I'm not sure who is he uh, I have to look it up a bit this is lot I don't think it's the expensive one and uh, some black ox as well way at the back so the fight over here he s chased I think he forgot to move his men he just gave a chase order against my Marauder Horsemen. Uh, I caught them with uh, my units of Forsaken and they are just decimating uh, the ball boys over here as you can see. Uh, they don't do really well, especially since I don't think he gave the uh, charge order into my um, Forsaken. Uh, most of the match here is going to be played in uh, slow-mo because it happens really fast. So over here he charged his uh, Orc boys into my and his trolls into my uh, Chaos Marauders. As you can see his trolls they have very poor leadership and they're actually routing over here and taking quite a bit of damage uh, from just my Chaos Marauders uh, and I have my Chaos Spawn as well over here uh, fighting his Orc boys I also used my debuff from the Lord over here uh, so the main battle line it consists of my uh, Chaos Marauders really cheap units holding onto his uh, main line and you can see they are wavering sending in my general over here uh, one of the reasons, once again before I forget, one of the reasons why I brought the metal sorcerer is because of his uh, passive uh, he has every um, law has a passive and uh, the, the passive for the metal lord is um, 
plus 4% armor piercing damage around him. So I have very high melee attack and weapon damage with my uh, Forsaken, but they don't have armor piercing. So this 4% makes up for the um, the lack of armor piercing that they have. Very high weapons rank 65. That's actually insane. Uh, so you can see me winning the fight over here against his infantry pretty decisively. It's just that his uh, giants are catching my men, but. Uh, in time, the numbers is gonna overwhelm his uh, giants. My Chaos Warhounds, I flank them all the way from the back and uh, run them into his uh, archers over here. I also put the um, Life Spirit Leech on his general over here. You can see how devastating the uh, Chaos Warhounds are against unprotected archers. Spirit Leech on his uh, general over here, taking some damage. Pretty chaotic fight. Uh, you can see his uh, trolls just running away, full men left due to the uh, poor leadership that they have. Uh, his general is his general is not in the main fight over here. However, he, this giant uh, is doing pretty well. In this case, his chaos ones are so tiny compared to this giant. But uh. Yeah, my guys have uh, armor piercing thanks to the uh, metal sorcerer over there. Uh, he has one unit here that came back from rounding which he didn't use. Uh, and over here he's caught up with my infantry. You can see uh, over time the uh, superior number will uh, take its toll on the giant over here. And uh, my chaos warhounds are doing uh, almost up to 100 uh, kills on his archers. His archers didn't actually do that much because he wasn't protected. And uh, my Forsaken are fighting against these uh, Black Ox. The Black Ox are gonna win, but over here I'm sending in my General for a 1v1 fight. And uh, this is the most expensive one that I could get. Uh, it's a special guy, I forgot his name, but uh, he's decimating him right now. Uh, he has his uh, Black Ox coming in to help him out. Uh, I need to get him away as fast as possible before I lose him. But over here in the main fight, I routed his uh, giant. You can see my X-Men. Uh, although they don't have a lot of kills, I, but they do a lot of health damage uh, against these guys. I managed to get uh, my general out in time, but the main fight is actually already over in the middle. My uh, superior numbers and uh, just took, took the game over here. He has uh, lots of large monster units, but he didn't protect them well. And uh, if you don't protect them well, uh, superior numbers will actually get get uh, to win them in the long run. So very important that you keep your general alive and keep him near the fight. Uh, either your general or some uh, wizard to uh, boost the stats of the men. I find that uh, in Warhammer that is really really important because uh, the, the morale can go off so quickly, unlike. Uh, other, other Total War games. So I'm going to show you guys the um, result screen and you can see for yourself uh, the stats. So I lost 400 men. Um, the Chaos Marauders didn't get a lot of kills. Actually, they, some of them did get quite a lot of kills for how much they cost. Uh, the Forsaken got pretty, quite a lot of kills. Uh, as I said before, uh, most of the units of the uh, Chaos are really expensive so throwing in some chaos marauders with great weapons is a it's a good uh, front front line and uh, your forsaken can be the secondary line um, which don't get charged by enemy because uh, the chaos marauders are the one tanking the charge and you can just send the forsaken in to clean up the entire line and uh, if that's not enough you have your chaos spawns as well and uh, for missiles uh, you can see one of you of my chaos warhounds got 130 kills um, although those are mostly on archers, but if you use them properly and flank them through little gaps of the enemy formation, you can actually do really well with them. Uh, Marauder Horsemen are just a really annoying unit, uh, especially against other cavalry, because they, they are forced to chase you and uh, not participate in the fights in the main line. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care guys.